Well, welcome back, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret again, and we're looking here at uh, Gallio Petalum Princess Hori. Hori. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to check the media now. Um, these smell like hyacinth. Very, very um, intense perfume. You probably won't realise, but they are slightly going over. So, this is one of the reasons I want to get it repotted again. Well, I've not repotted it yet, is we've got another leaf going like this. And, um, I mean, these roots are jam packed in here, but I have got active growing roots and I need to check this media. Um, when did I get this? 24th of April and I'm thinking of putting it in this this type of an open um, well actually it's a tripod pot that I've put all holes in right so let's no more ado let's bring you um, a little bit nearer because the first thing I need to do is of course um, empty it out and if I can, I'm going to save the blooms. I mean, it just seems a shame to cut them off, doesn't it? Now, this was water just today. And, uh, now, I've not been keeping this um, wet. I've kept it moist throughout the winter. Well, I can't keep it wet, not in uh, my growing conditions. And uh, because it, the roots would just completely rot off. So let's be careful now as we go along. Can you see there's a lot of dead roots? So, uh, but there again, you see, Luke, we've got a growing tip just there. So, Let's see if um, any of this media. See, I've got a, a nice growing root there. Let's just see if I can get off as much as I can. I mean, it, it does say you can repot after blooming and uh, so I think it's quite a good time it's just whether or not um, I've got to take a lot of roots out it's one of these orchids that's been putting off and putting off sorry about that What I don't want to do is um, damage it too much. Let's have a smell at this media. No, it, it just smells like media. So it hasn't gone off. See, I've got the other uh, Zygopetalum uh, species one, Mackayi. And... Um, managed to repot that without disturbing it and then it came into bloom so let's see if I can just gently so you put another new root there I mean, I don't know what it is growing in or in the middle, but I've managed to get my fingers up there now, so perhaps I've left my notes in there um, because this hybrid it comes from two uh, species. 
and uh, I think one's R to L but without my notes just to hand I can't actually be completely certain so let's see I mean, during our summer months, I mean, we, you know, we never get prolonged summer months. Um, in that other pot that I intend using, um, it can be watered and then um, the excess can drain away because of all the holes. Okay. Let's see if I can... See, I can't even squeeze it because um, it's that tight. But you can see underneath now, can't you, Lou? How desiccated some of these uh, roots are. So they're best coming out if I can get them out. Now let's see if I've got another manoeuvring uh, finger and thumb going through here so let's see I mean this is the uh, these are the type of jobs that you you put off doing and, uh, but in the end you've still got to uh, check it and uh, because even though um, we're still in winter here, um, the grow room and all that my grow lights um, tell these orchids, you know, we could be in spring or summer. So, uh, see I've got a root there, can you see that one? You see where it's gone black or well, that one's gone brown. We might still get away with it, I'm not sure about that tip. So, like I say, I'm, I'm frightened of squeezing the media because, for the simple reason, I don't want to crack any of the roots. So, if I can get in the middle here and shake them about. I'll dislodge enough. I mean, those that I don't dislodge, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to worry because uh, I mean, I'm not going to uh, be able to get rid of them all, all the debris and everything. I just heard something crack then. So. Ah oh dear, this is where it becomes oh, quite exhausting really. Because what you, what I'm trying to do is trying to hold the plant so it doesn't tipple over. I'm trying to keep you in frame. And Oh, we're getting there. Look at that. Okay. So it just looks as though this has been planted or potted in bark. Lots and lots of perlite. Can you see that root there? Lots and lots of perlite. Very, very small amount of um, moss. And it doesn't look as though I've got any plug. Okay. It looks very much like a uh, 
terrestrial mix, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do in a second, when I think there's all, my fingers won't penetrate anymore without doing too much damage. I'll uh, bring the tray up and we'll lay it down and just see whether or not we can trim any of these roots. So, okay. so that's what we've got rid of so far. See how I can lay it down now. Okay. Right. I'm going to bring you right in now. If this will allow me to bring you right in. Alright, how are we for time? Let me just pause you for a few minutes and see if I can get any headway inside here. Can you see all inside there? There, can you see? So just let me pause you a minute. So what I'm doing here, before I've decided to cut any, because this is... Um, near the top part where some of the newly emerging roots are coming. I'm, I'm just using my little tool, my little, I see, my little pokey tool, just to see if I can just release any of this debris. And then, You have to be careful though, because um, at the end of the day, these are, all these roots are fragile, and I don't want it to break any. See, it still brings a little one or two more off. Me sniffing. Okay, let's see if I can check this way. So what I've done now is that top flower, as I've, um, there, see, as, as, as I've laid it down, I've cracked it away from the, uh, from the actual stem. One, two, three, four. Oh well, what I'll do is, um, Put it in a little tiny egg cup and I'll put some water in that. I'll be back in a second. Right, so I'm right in the centre now. Very carefully. See, you've got to be careful because you've got um, roots that are active. Um, and it's, there's no colour in them because um, they've been in the middle of the media. So, okay. 
So what I'm not wanting to do is cut any viable roots off. Well, I've got my scissors here. I mean, there's a lot of roots with no vellum on at all. these roots here, you might think, well, they must be dead. They look a little bit like the um, cymbidium roots. I don't think they're dead. So, we, go, we won't go absolutely mad and cut them all away. We'll cut away those that are damaged. And definitely, you see like that one there, so that's got a cut, we'll take that one to there, that one's gone right up in the centre, I'll keep coming back to you, this is what I mean about being careful. Can you see? We've got an active fruit there and we've got an active fruit there but they're on these roots that you'd think were dead but they actually they're not. Now the difference is, you see that one? That's got too many breaks in that has and uh, I've got my finger right to the top and I'll go in there and I've taken that one out, so that's no good. This is why I'm being so careful not to actually cut the roots that are possibly viable. See that one's cracked there. That one's all right. See, this is the mess here, and I don't want to turn you around too much. The reason being, um, I don't want to break any more flowers. Okay, what's that? Before you cut, just go back, check. Now that one you see, it's got a crack there, but I think it, it could be. Okay, so we'll just leave it for the time being. See that one? That's no good. And you see? Sorry about that. Clean it up slightly. There you go. I mean, at the end of the day, if I lose any more of these flowers, it can't be helped. See, there's there's a root that's completely gone. There's one here. That one's gone to there. What I can do afterwards is just rinse it. Okay. Can you see where these roots are um, gone? Bear with me again. So the majority of the roots I'm managing to cut away in this area 
are from this old bat bulb. And uh, you'll see when I lift you up in a minute that I've managed to um, cut quite a few of those away. And then, being ultra cautious, See, I can still see some. Let me see, right down there. But then you've got to be careful, because if I pull this through now, and it could have a root on it, it'll kick myself. Okay. Tell you, you have to have patience with Job when you're doing this. Let me just uh, <coughs> hold it. Cut off those two root tips there. See that one? That one there. I think I'm just going to see whether or not that will hang on in there. What's this one? going out of the camera. Let's see if I can uh, <clears throat> take any of these off now. Right. Oops. You see that one's got that little root, those two little roots on. <clears throat> and it's attached to that one. Okay, that's fine. So what I'll do now, I'm going to leave those two intact. This one I'm going to take back. <clears throat> it's only hanging, can you see the velamen? It's only hanging on with the velamen. And I'm going to take that one back to there. And I don't know whether I'm going to do any more. For the simple reason. I might be doing more damage than I wanted. See that root there? That's gone. Just by unlock it, maybe I. Uh, cut. A good viable route. Right, so what are these two here? Go down, check underneath. That can come off. That can come off. That can come off. That can come off. Right. You can see how much more has come off. So just let me stand the camera back up. <clears throat> she says. Try not to break Ooh. anything. Right, so I've got some pre soaked um, bark. I'm going to. Uh, A bit like the uh, the Phalaenopsis portulina.
what I might do is um, just put some of this uh, larger uh, grow stone and pumice at the bottom. Let's see if I can move you around. That's the, the back bulb there. That's where the flower impressions came. There we go. So <clears throat> I can start now. Um, I'm just going to put a layer of this at the bottom. Gently <clears throat> just lay those. Can you see them? Those growing tips there. Oops, I don't go and fall. There. I don't mind if I can just keep this a little bit higher. Right, I've just been filling up while you've been off camera because I'm getting near to my time limit and I think we're just about there. So let me pick the camera up and let's have a look how we're doing. So where I've taken the, uh, the root from on this back bulb, can you see it's just a little bit wobbly, I've put a stake in there and uh, see this is the next new growth we had but there's nothing come out of that yet as a flower inflorescence that's the flower inflorescence here we go there and uh, we're all potted up now and if you'll see and you see all the way around in this nice open, I have to put it down, it's quite heavy now, uh, type of media. So thank you again for joining me, thank you to all my subscribers and for those who leave comments, thank you very much and I'll try and get back and answer them as soon as I can. So this is the Gallio Petalum Princess Hurri Repot. Bye bye now.